Today we're going to find out who's better for the economy, ordinary people or billionaires. So here we have five people who all lost money because of cuts in austerity. We're going to give them that money back in the form of a pay rise, pension, disability support, a student grant and a small business loan. And now we're going to go to our billionaire and give him £20,000 in the form of a tax cut. So what are they going to do with their money? Susan has used her money to pay for the family shopping. Tom gets some repairs done on his car. Everyone we gave money to is spending it in the local community. And the people who get that money go on to spend it too. All this money changing hands creates economic growth. Businesses take in more profits and they can hire more people. And they too go on to spend their wages. With every transaction, the government takes in more revenue. And they can use this to build new roads, hospitals and schools. And they can also hire more teachers, firefighters and police officers. Not only will these people spend the money that they earn, but they'll also make our country a better place to live in, attracting more investments and tourism. Now let's see what the billionaire has done with his money. Hi. So, how have you used the extra cash to stimulate the economy? Pardon? You know, the £20,000 tax cut we gave you. Have you hired any new staff or invested in local oh, business? That money. I completely forgot about it. In fact, I might still have it. Huh. So, what are you going to do with it? Send it to the Cayman Islands with the rest, I guess. So you won't mind if we take that back, then? <laughs> Security? So, as you can see, getting money into the hands of ordinary people does a lot more for the economy than giving tax cuts to billionaires. So if you agree, vote Labour on Thursday the 2nd of May and let's rebuild Britain for the many and not just the few.